Hi, Shannon here from houseimprovements.com. In today's video, I want to show you some uh, some more uh, RV type maintenance tips again. So we have a few different RV tips, and uh, my one today is showing you how to clean and reseal all these different uh, joints that you're going to have on your RV roof. So this one here particularly is on the back edge, but you'll have one at the front and back edge where the uh, fiberglass or metal meets the roof. You're gonna have them around all the different protrusions in the roof, like where the fridge vent is. This is a plumbing stack over here, roof vent, another plumbing stack, skylight, you know, all these kinds of areas. And as you can see, this material, this caulking basically over time gets cracked or gets pinholes or whatever and these are all potential areas for leaks and it's something you should be looking at every year on your RV to be sure that you're in good condition. Another important spot is down here on the corners. A lot of times you'll get a leak here and that leak just goes straight into the wall and this is what rots out your walls and you don't even know what's happening until usually there's major signs of damage inside so this is something you should look at every year and touch up here and there. Uh, my RV is at the point where I'm going to redo every one of these seals on here because they're all getting kind of cracked. But you can see here where I've cleaned it to prep it for the new caulking and where I haven't. So we're going to start with this area with the cleaning and just show you exactly what I do. So what I do is I just use uh, ordinary brake cleaner. It uh, doesn't matter on the brand or anything. Nobody sent me any of the products that I'm using today. I'm just using what I normally would use. So just take some brake cleaner, spray it on the dirty area, and clean it off. And you see it works pretty quickly. Another good thing to do is to do this you can do the cleaning any time of the day, but when you're gonna put on the sealant, you wanna do it on a on the warm part of the day when you're gonna have a dry day, no rain in the forecast. So it can sit during the day. The product I like to use is self-leveling. And uh, once you put it on, it just takes a little bit of time for it to level itself out. And uh, that works always better on a day that's you know, uh, 70, 80 degrees, so say 25 degrees Celsius. So I just uh, clean it up like that. You're never going to get it 100%, but just try to get, you know, all these little edges and stuff. The cleaner you can get it to start with, the better adhesion you're going to have. Okay, so we got it all cleaned up. Uh, this shouldn't hurt your rubber roof or metal roof or doesn't seem to cause any problems on your fiberglass sides but I try to not get it on the fiberglass or if I do just wipe it off pretty quick just in case but I have never had a problem with it. Okay so we've got our got our product here actually I'll just grab a tube that I was using before. So this uh, again nobody sent us this this is just what I use you can get this at most RV dealers. It's Dicor, it's uh, made for sealing this stuff. It's You can get it in self-leveling. Uh, this is a non-leveling, non, uh, uh, what's it say, non-sag on this one. This one's a self-leveler. So the non-sag, uh, where you might want that is out on an edge, like out here above the drip rail. Uh, non-sag you probably want to use along here because if you use the self-leveler it uh, eventually is going to run and maybe even drip off the edge so I'll use a non-sag out there but any of these spots right up on the roof like this uh, it's basically flat and I'll use that up and on here because it'll just nicely form around all this uh, roughness here so so it's uh, made by Dicor uh, there are other ones out there. I've just always had really good luck with this, and uh, that's why I keep using it. I see there's a price tag here. So this stuff's about $16.50 here in Canada. 
or it was when I bought this. This is a couple years old, so uh, I don't know if there's any kind of, it's probably a shelf life on this. Uh, I don't know what it is. I'd have to look it up online, but anyways, I'm gonna use this tube here up and I'm gonna have to buy, buy a couple more anyways. So you wanna get it clean, you want it dry, clean, and then you're basically gonna, it's gonna look kinda messy at first cause you're gonna basically cover this whole area with this caulking tube type style. And then I'm gonna put a rubber glove on and just kind of lightly smooth it around, making sure that I work it into any low spots uh, and that it uh, is kind of smoothish and it'll just self level after that. So the first thing I like to do is I like to get right along the edge down in here. First, to make sure I've got a good seal right Right along the edge. You don't need a huge bead usually. Just run it along there, sealing that outer edge first. Okay, same thing back on this side. I'm just kind of being careful here, trying to get it in this crack along the side there. Okay, so I've got the two, two sides done. Then in the middle here, I'm just going to liberally spread it on and then I can work it with my hand. I don't know if there's different colors or not. This, I've always used white. That's usually what you find on the RVs already is white. Any that I've seen anyways. So it takes a fair bit of this product and it, it isn't cheap, but this is uh, way cheaper than thousands of dollars of rotted walls you have to replace afterwards in your in your RV. Okay, so I get a good, good amount on there. You can see, you know, a bunch of beads on there. Uh, I don't know that you need a rubber glove. It's just cleaner to use a rubber glove. And I'll just, Simply use my finger to, it's already trying to level out. Don't do too big of an area at a time because it will skim over a little bit after you know, half an hour or so. So just kind of do little pieces you can do. And I'm just smoothing it out, filling, making sure it runs into any gaps and voids there are. And then right along the edge, just making sure I'm getting a good seal at the outer edges. Uh, if you get any bubbles or anything, just make sure you work those out. Okay. And it won't take long. You know, if you got a good, uh, you don't need direct sun on it necessarily, but, but what you need is a good warm day. Uh, this is a little early in the morning right now, but I wanted to get out here before it got too hot. And uh, that'll give it a chance to get some heat here later this morning and uh, level out and it'll be looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna come back in a few hours so you can see what the final uh, thing looks like. But here's what it's looking like already. You can see it kind of laying down and smoothing down. So I'm gonna work away at this for a little bit and then we'll come back and check on it in a few hours later today and see what it looks like. Okay, I'm back just to show you uh, how this sealing process has worked out. This is about five hours later. It's not completely uh, set up and and done uh, sealing off, but it's definitely skimmed over. And I just want to give you a little bit of a, a view of what we've got here. So you can see out on that end. And you can tell, you know, how it lays down nice and flat now. I've got a couple spots here where there's, like there's a little bubble here, a little bubble there. Looks like there might be one there, a little air bubble. So I'll go back around and just look at those areas and just pop them with a pin, let the air out, squash them down a little bit with my finger and then just reseal that little spot. You, you tend to get that, you trap some air here and there when you're uh, smoothing it out. So, but uh, I think overall worked out pretty well. I haven't completed the whole roof yet, but I did this, 
this whole back area. Here's another bigger bubble right there. And down on this end, I actually ran out of the self-leveling and I used a bit of a tube of the non-leveling. So you can see a fair good difference on uh, how it is when it doesn't self-level. So anyways, hopefully that uh, explained to you how to, how to do that. Uh, it's probably gonna take you on an average RV three, four hours to get it all cleaned and sealed up, but it's definitely something worth doing to save your life, the life of your RV, extend its life. Thanks for watching.